Hello, this is Cisco Instructor Andrea. I'd like to pick up where we left off with our binary basics. Last video we talked a little bit about the basics of binary and also about positional values of the binary. So we figured out that 2 to the 0 equals 1, 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 to the 2 is 4, 2 to the 3 is 8, 2 to the 4 is 16, etc., etc., right up to the 32, 64, 128. It's important to learn these values, the 1, the 2, the 4, the 8, the 16, 32, 64, 128, because this is what we're going to be using all the time in IPv4 addressing. Also, when we have these eight positions, this is called the positional value, and there's eight of them, because there's eight of them, we call this an octet. What I want to talk to you today is how do we convert a binary number to a decimal number? Machines and computers think in binary, we think in decimal. So it's going to be pretty hard for us to do things if we're always trying to figure out how to read something in binary. So we're going to learn how to take the binary number and convert it to the decimal equivalent. This chart is going to be really helpful for that. I've broken it into four octets, one, two, three, four, because again, an IPv4 address is four octets. There's four octet values in an IPv4 address. And this number one through four is going to become very important as well when we start working with subnet masks. So the important concepts are the octets, the numbers one through four, and also our positional values of 1 through 128. So if we're going to convert some binary number into decimal, this chart helps a lot. So let's say I have the binary number of 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. I can use this chart and plug these numbers into the positional slots. So let's start here. 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now because I know that this is the positional value, this tells me whether to add this number into the final result of my decimal number. Because the 128 positional value has a zero, it's turned off. So there's nothing here. Because the positional value of 64 is turned on, I know that I need to add 64 right here. The positional value of 32 is turned on, so I'm going to add 32. The positional value of 16 is off. I'm going to leave it off. The positional value of 8 is off, so I'm going to leave it off. The positional value of 4 is off. I leave it off. The positional value of 2 is off. I leave it off. The positional value of 1 is on, so I'm going to add a 1. Now I just add these values up to determine the decimal equivalent. So I have 64 plus 32 is 96 plus 1 is 97. So right here, my decimal equivalent is 97. Let's figure out the next octet. So let's say my binary value for octet number 2 is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. I can use this chart 
and plug these values in to determine the positional value. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So what we learned over here is if the position has a 0 in it, this value isn't going to count. So I've got 0, 0, 0. The 16 positional value is on, so I know that's going to be part of my decimal equivalent. 8, 4, and 2 are off, so we'll leave those off, but the number 1 is on. So now I just need to add 16 plus 1. I have 17. So now I've got a 17 right there. Let's do octet number 3. So let's say that my binary equivalent for number 3 is 1100001. One, zero, 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 one, zero. Let's plug our binary value into our handy chart. 1100001. One, one, zero, 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 one, zero. The positional value of 128 is on. So I'm going to need the 128. The positional value of 64 is on, so I'm going to do a plus 64. 32 is off. 16 is off. 8 off. 4 off. The positional value of 2 is on, so here I'm going to add 2. The positional value of 1 is off. So for octet number 3, I have 128 plus 64, that's 192, plus 2 is 194. So this octet's decimal value is 194. Our last one, let's make it easy. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. I'm going to transfer these numbers into my handy chart. I know that the positional values wherever there is a 0 will stay 0. Here I have the positional value of 4 is on, so I've got a 4, 0, 0. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. I've just figured out what the IPv4 address would be. So right here, what the address is, is 97.17.194.4. Okay. Let's do another one. So if I give you the value of 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Let's plug it into the chart. Okay, so is it turned on? It is. So it's going to be 128. Is the 64 turned on? It is, so we're going to have a 64. Is 32 turned on? It is, so we have a 32. Here I've got nothing. My 8, it is turned on. The number 4 positional value is turned on, so I've got a 4 right here. The 2 is off and the 1 is off. So I have 128 plus 64, plus 32, plus 8, plus 4. So let's see, we have 224 plus 12. So my value is 236. 128 plus 64 is 192, plus 32 is 224 plus 8, 
plus 4, 236. What helps you learn this is practice, practice, practice. So the more you do, the better. Let's do one more together. So we want to convert 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now that looks a little funny because we're used to seeing all eight bits. When you see this shortened version, they've simply left off the leading zeros. Okay, so let's write it from right to left. I'm going to put my binary as 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. The rest are automatically zeros because you've left off the leading zeros. That's a very common way to write binary. So when you see something that doesn't look quite right, you probably just need to add zeros. This part's easy, right? 16 is on, 8 is off, 4 is on, 2 is off, and 1 is on. So I have 16 plus 4 plus 1, so I have 21. Something else I'd like to point out is whenever you have the 1 on, your number will always be an odd number because we're dealing with binary or a base 2. Notice all of these numbers are even numbers. So you will always end up with an even number unless the 1 is on. When the 1 is on, you'll get an odd. Let's do one more. I'm going to work from right to left since it looks like I don't have the full 8 bits here. And I know that the leading zeros have been omitted, so I'll add them in. 32 is turned on because the 1 is there. 16 is turned off. 8 is on. 4 is on. 2 is off. 1 is on. I'm going to have an odd number. 32 plus 8 is 40. Plus 4 is 44. Plus 1 is 45. So we have 32 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 equals 45. That's it for converting binary to decimal. Practice a lot and this will get quicker and you'll start to see little patterns.